For the August tip of the month, we're going to touch on something real quick about giving your dogs the opportunity to succeed. You want to set them up for success, not set them up for failure. When you take these young dogs out, you've done all your yard work, you're just starting to do calling stands, think about your stand location in the aspect that these pups aren't really sure what's going on yet, they've not been to the field. You want good visibility, which means elevation, try and get up high, try and get a big opening, and give those dogs a chance to see those coyotes when they're coming in. And those, <coughs> those pups are gonna do a lot better if they can see that coyote and they have time to see him and watch him. They're gonna get a little excited and that'll encourage those dogs to go out and come back to you. And another thing, if you have a dog that you're having trouble, they always wanna be behind you and they're always just in the, the wrong spot in your mind. One thing that we do a lot, we set up in the rocks, we set up against these cliff faces. It encourages the dogs to pay attention to in front of us and that's where we need their attention. Right here this morning we just finished a calling stand and the wind is crossing in front of us. So we wanted the dogs in front of us waiting for a coyote to circle, trying to get our wind. That's where our shots would have been. That's where the dog needs to pay attention. Back behind me, I can't see what's going on behind me anyway. So if there's a coyote back there and the dog smells it and decoys it, that's fine. But most of the time I want the dog's attention out ahead of us direction we want the coyote to come from. So again, set your dogs up for success. First few times out till they get the game figured out, make sure they have good visibility, which means elevation and some open country so they can see those coyotes coming in. There's your tip for August 2011. You guys have fun with your dogs.